Hi, Joy French Christmas again. Welcome back to another video. There are a few things in terms of movies, and one thing that came to my doorstep today that I want to show you guys I didn't get to show up because we had to leave. We had to look at this new house, which I did film. If you guys saw that video I uploaded on YouTube like hours ago, um, this might be the one way to go for it. We're not 100% sure yet, but hopefully, but yeah. So, we also went to Party City, which we just got some candy from there, and then we went to Half Price Bookstore, where they had a bunch of movies. I picked three movies. Let me shut my window. I should have kept that video, but whatever. But we also went to Half Price Bookstore. I got three movies, and I show you guys here in a minute. But before I do, I want to me and Megan want to thank you guys so much for your support, for your likes, everything you guys give. Um, I apologize for my absence but I'm back tomorrow I might or may not make more videos I don't know what we're doing tomorrow to be honest but me and Megan also want to thank you guys so much for defending us and why I have Megan every in every video and every time I leave the house I take her with me but me and Megan want to show you guys some movies I got. There is one that I want to open that I got in the mail. It's all show you guys last, but I got three movies. Two for five bucks and one for ten bucks, so I got to spend twenty dollars. The first movie I picked up, which I this is a movie I've not seen at all, and that is called The Black Coat's Daughter. Um it looks pretty interesting. I mean, most of the movies they have, they already I already got. Like, they had a lot of the Friday the 13th, the Saw movies, the Chucky films, so. But I picked this up. The only, it's probably the only movie that I saw that looked like it's worth picking up. Then I got the original Last House on the Left by Wes Craven. I own the remake already, so... I thought I'd buy the, the original just to complete the collection. And I do generally don't enjoy it because it's the right revenge movie. But I do like this movie. It's a pretty good movie. I prefer the remake better, but this one I thought hold, I think holds up well. I. Hey, here. So I guess mom wanted something, but yeah. As I was saying, this movie, I, I don't necessarily like the scene where the cops are. With kazoo music and stuff, but it's a classic. It's, it's a double sided disc, which I do not like, but that's okay. I don't know why it's double sided, but oh well. Now, this movie I've been looking for for a long time. This movie I've, I've been really looking for because I love this movie. And I pick not only is it a fucking Blu-ray, but it's a Screen Factory Blu-ray, and it was only ten bucks. And it is Dog Soldiers. Dog Soldiers is one of my favorite werewolf movies ever. I love Ginger Snaps and Wolfman and all that, but this is such a fun film. And I'll show you guys the inside real quick. The receipt was still in there. It comes with a DVD and Blu-ray. And you can reverse the cover art, which I'm not going to pull out because I can only use one hand right now. But, this is a great world film, and I love this movie, so. Ten bucks was a good seal, because usually Screen Factory DVDs or Blu-rays are way more, way more much money. I don't necessarily care for Blu-rays that much, because I think DVDs are fine enough, so. So now let's unpack, unbox this movie, which came from Amazon. 
tight. Open this motherfucker. Megan, I need to use your robot strength. Open this movie. Okay. It is open. So let's pull out the film. It is 